in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix issues with BattleEye not working properly in Windows 10. BattleEye is an anti-cheat program which basically stops cheaters being able to play games online. If you're having issues with BattleEye not starting or it's failed to start or you're getting service errors or something like that then by doing the things that I show you in this video, we will hopefully be able to fix the problem. But before we go any further, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this. So the first thing we need to do is just ensure your security software is not blocking BattleEye. So in this video, I will be showing you how to allow BattleEye through the Windows Defender firewall but if you've got a different firewall installed on your computer, you will need to allow it through your firewall and security software. So the first thing we need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in Defender. You now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. We now need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And you now need to click on Change Settings. And we now need to click on Allow another app. You now need to click on browse. You now need to copy the location path that's in the description below, which is to the C drive program files, common files, battle I. You then need to paste it in the path up the top and press enter. And we now need to select BE service and then press open and add. If you had more than one service in that location, you then need to do the same again. Click on allow another app, click on browse, and then add the other service and press open and then add. You now need to go to your game path. So go to the game folder, which you're having problems with when trying to play online with BattleEye. So I'm using Ghost Recon Breakpoint as the example. As you can see, there's a BattleEye folder. You need to open up that folder. So find the BattleEye folder. You can always search in the top right hand corner for BattleEye. Obviously, it's not got two E's, so I don't think it is actually called BattleEye, but in this video, I'm calling it that anyway. You then need to copy the path to your game folder. You then need to go back to your firewall and press allow another app, go browse, paste in the location to the folder in your game, and then we need to add that service there as well. We then need to press add, and there we go. You can now see I've got three services for BattleEye. Once you've allowed BattleEye through your security, go ahead and launch your game and see if you're still getting the problem when trying to play online. If you're still getting the problem, then the next thing we want to do is open up the start menu. You now need to type in services. We then need to open up services. You now need to find the BattleEye service and right click on it and go properties. And you need to make sure the startup type is set to manual. If it's set to disabled, then that will be why you can't play on your multiplayer games and get in the battle eye errors. So go ahead, change it to manual and then launch your game and see if it fixed the issue. So the next thing we want to do is go back to the game folder of where battle eye is. So I'm going to my breakpoint folder. You now need to right click on the service file and go to properties. You now need to go to compatibility. And you now need to tick this box where it says run this program as an administrator. Press apply and OK. And now go ahead and launch your game and see if that resolved the issue. If that didn't, then the next thing we want to do is go to the common folder where BattleY is. So in your C, program files, common files, BattleY. You need to go back one to common files. You now need to right click and delete this folder. Once you've deleted the folder, go ahead and launch your game and it will recreate that folder and the files that were within it. If that didn't work, then the next thing we want to do is uninstall BattleEye within the game folder. So to do this, go back to your game folder. So I'm going back to my Ghost Recon and we now need to run this file here where it says uninstall BattleEye. You then need to press yes. As you can see, would you like to uninstall BattleEye service? We want to go yes and OK. And now when we launch our game, it will then reinstall BattleEye. If that didn't fix the problem, then the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Steam or if you're using Ubisoft Connect or something like that, you need to verify the game files. 
So I will put a link in the description below to a few videos that I've done showing you how to verify your game files. But normally you just right click on the game and then you press verify game files. There should be an option. If that didn't work, then unfortunately the only other thing you can try is uninstalling the game and then installing it again. So that is how you resolve battle eye issues in Windows 10. I hope this tutorial did help you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.